When mounting small insects on microscope slides, you need some of the following materials. You need a microscope slide uh, that you usually find in a box. You'll need some cover glasses, uh, either round or square, but use glass ones. And you'll need some mounting medium. Uh, we either use permount in the lab or we use some material called cytosol. If you use permount, you'll need to use an eyedropper um, that will be disposed of immediately upon use. Um, in the sharps jar. Uh, if you use the cytosol, there's a little spigot on the top which is a little bit cleaner. When taking a specimen, a microscopic specimen such as a flea or a thrips or a louse, uh, basically set it in the middle of the slide initially. You're not going to have a whole lot of control over how it ends up appearing at the end. Uh, so you try and do the best that you can initially. Um, this one, of course, is not cooperating with me. I'll try and get the head off to the left. As soon as I put the preservative on, it'll kind of go wherever it wants anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is have my cover slips ready to go. And... Now they have specimen on the slide. I'm going to simply ring that slide, or ring the specimen, with a good sized droplet of preservative. Make sure I close the lid on the preservative immediately. It, the additional air will cause the stuff to gum up over time. So now I have the specimen down in this drop of preservative and then simply take a cover slip over the top uh, and gently set it down and let it spread out. Uh, the problem is if you have too much you can't wipe it away. If you don't have enough you can't add any additional. So it takes a while to kind of figure out exactly how much preservative should I have on there. Then just let the uh, cover slip slowly wick that excess material until the entire cover slip so the specimen is in there. You can see the specimen has moved to the upper left of the area, um, but yet the specimen is still visible. Um, it will be clearly visible when we look through a microscope at it. Once I have the this cover slip now will require several days to dry, so just make sure to set this slide in a position somewhere where it's protected, isn't going to get disturbed, and can dry for several days. The other thing that we need to do is add the locality and identification labels. And so if you have those, you just simply take the same preservative, same glue, make a couple spots over on the one end. I tend to like to go to the right side of that preservative. And then we're simply going to glue our locality label in position. Um, you make sure that you've already got it filled out. And then the same thing with your determination label, exactly what it is. So this happens to be a dog flea that was collected here in Decorah off of my dog. And um, now we've got a slide with a locality label and a determination label uh, glued onto the slide as well as the specimen uh, located on the slide. And then we'll be able to attach the slide directly into the specimens or directly into the collection. These extra specimens here I can make additional slides with. Uh, they were all collected in alcohol and had been sitting preserved in alcohol. I dried them on paper towel and then um, placed them on a Kim wipe so that I could easily see them uh, while making this video.